everyone. I'm taking a look at the spa. I'm doing a market review, and I'm really doing this for Mark because I call calls in the spy. Now backtrack here. Take a look at it. What happened here today? The market gap down. The tail signifies red. The market opened today, fell. Fell was red, had a red body. Could have fallen all the way down. Could have fallen here. Could have fallen here. Couldn't have fallen if a planet didn't do it. I didn't believe it would do it. And hopefully Mark held the conviction as well. I said yesterday as well, I thought the market wouldn't fall and it didn't. Then we gapped down today unexpectedly, but I really thought that if we gapped down today, we'd rally. If we, if we gapped up, we'd rally. And if we were neutral, we'd rally. That's how I felt last night. In fact, I think I said that in the webinar. But anyways, it's a late rally here again today. And exactly what time did we lift and go green? 115. 115 is when we did it. And then we broke out here at two o'clock. So we will close green today no matter what happens. An hour and 10 minutes left. And I'm not saying 100%, but I'm saying, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised at all. And Mark will be very happy about this because he's in this trade still, I think. If the market does something crazy tomorrow morning, and I'm not saying 100%, but I would be surprised of nothing. Why? People shorted the market today. People shorted the market yesterday. People shorted this market here from the other day, and they may have gotten out. I mean, theoretically, if you shorted the market at 394, it dropped down here to 387. Theoretically, if you shorted the market here, you would have been up and you could have got out, whether you did a short or a put or whatever. I don't know if people got out, but I'm just saying, if people did, they could have got out, but not everybody did. And you can tell people shorted here and here and here. And I'm saying I wouldn't be surprised if the market opened over the high tomorrow. I mean, to me, when I look at this, that's not crazy at all. And I'm not saying 100%, but I'm saying nothing would surprise me. It's really the utter, utter, utter strength we're seeing right now, currently at this juncture in the market. And when I look at multiple charts, I see it too. And I'm just gonna quickly take a look here at Apple. Just a quick video here. Because of the fact that, when I kept looking at Apple and I kept looking at Apple and I said, I don't think this is going anywhere down. And I didn't do a short in this, and obviously you wouldn't have gone long this, but I just couldn't, I just couldn't get behind a short in this. And I couldn't get behind a short in this. So this will affect the market. This is a larger percentage of the QQQs. And so I mean, if Apple's up tomorrow, then everything's gonna be up as well again, too. Very, very tricky market. You have to know what you're doing. But conviction counts. Conviction counted today and it counted yesterday, too. Because if you, this is part of the reason where we're talking about volatility as far as believing something's going to go a certain way and then having to go the exact opposite way. Because if you thought the market was going down, you got tripped. It didn't go down. It rallied today. If you thought the market was going to go up yesterday, after yesterday's close, which it could have, that would have been the most logical thing, and then got up today and the market was down and you were in a long, you were got tricked too. Because then you got tricked thinking it was going to fall. And then you see we're back up here. We're basically in the body of the bar from yesterday. So it would have tricked you. So that's why you have to know what you're doing when you're trade so you don't get jostled around. Stick to it. Set the risk. Take it. Let it play out. Let it do its thing. Hold the conviction. And most importantly, know what you're doing when you're trading. All right. Have a good day, everyone.